All right, so today I'm going to make some uh, Jello hot dogs. Use it for catfishing, and I uh, catch a lot of carp on them. Actually, the uh, Jello I like to use works best for me. Cherry Jello. Uh, I've also had pretty good luck on strawberry Jello. I've tried grape. I didn't have much success on it, but I only tried it once. I'm a creature of habit, so cherry's my favorite, strawberry's my second, and I've also tried some uh, pineapple. Didn't work too great for me. Uh, I've got friends who've tried raspberry. It's worked. Uh, for some reason for me, the red ones seem to work best. Like I said, cherry seems to be my go-to. So what you're going to need, cutting board, pretty good knife. Uh, I get myself some cheap hot dogs. Uh, cheapest ones I can find, Walmart, Fry's, Safeway, wherever you shop. Um, the cheapest ones you can get, like I said, these are like 97 cents a pack. So I just go ahead and cut these up. I've seen some other videos on YouTube where they use um, some different, different methods, so I will show you mine. I like to take like four at a time out. And then I like to mix mine in a uh, Tupperware bowl. Uh, some people mix them in a nice big Ziploc bag. But uh, get a hole in one of these, you're going to get the uh, Jello juice all over everything. So I like to use a Tupperware bowl. So what I do, get my hot dogs here. And I just cut them up pieces about that size maybe half inch across a little less these work great when I'm out fishing some of the other videos I've seen uh, catfish and carp he's got a lot of good videos he uses uh, a lot bigger sections than I do you try it both ways find out what works best for you as you can see I just cut four at a time And this here is a uh, quick and cheap bait. Like I said, hot dogs are about a buck. I use about a half a pack of Jello per uh, one small pack of hot dogs. And um, so for about yeah, under two bucks, you're going to have a pretty good amount of bait for catfish and. Uh, Went out today, as a matter of fact, caught one 10-pound carp and a uh, one small catfish off of this. Like to keep the end pieces, they seem to work really well. Keep a small, few small scraps. Feed them to my dog who uh, is. Waiting right here patiently. There you go. She makes quick work of them. There you go, just like the catfish do. All right, so then, got all my hot dogs here in my bucket. And let's see, I think I got a half a pack of cherry here somewhere. And then right here, cherry jello. Making a mess on the counter. Then all I do, sprinkle it right on. Yeah, I might want to use a little bit more than that. Throw these away. Coat them pretty good, want to cover them up. And then also, I like to use some garlic powder. 
Some people put on a lot, some people put on little, I'll put a pretty good amount. Right about there. Put those in there, put your lid on. Shake them up. And you see, they're all well coated. And now that uh, jello will liquefy when it mixes with the hot dogs. I have a batch here I made a few days ago. Like I said, I went out today. As you see, I've drained that off once already and still liquefying so you just drain off that excess and this works great like I said caught a lot of catfish a lot of carp and because I don't use the big old chunks I use just a small chunk normally got my setup here Not sure if you can see that run my weight I run my uh, ball in between my uh, snap swivel and then I run a number two hook. I like this setup. It's easy to change hooks out pretty quick. And then what I do, take one of the hot dogs, run it straight through the middle, turn it around, and then you can just uh, leave it like that, or you can uh, kind of stick that hook in there a little bit, cast out there. Now if your jello dogs get pretty soft, you can leave the lid open outside to kind of air out. They'll firm up a little bit. Stay on your hook a little better. But you cast them out nice and easy. Uh, just wait. Wait till you get the bites. Like I said, I've caught a lot of catfish. And I've caught carp on these. Really good recipe. Like I said, I tried the cherry, cherry jello. Uh, and the strawberry jello worked best for me. But you can play with it. Strawberry bananas worked. Raspberries worked. Grapes work for some people, pineapple, every lake is different and the fish will tell you what they like. So uh, get out there, make some jello dogs and catch some fish. And uh, also, I use jello to make a dough bait for carp. I'm going to go ahead and make up a batch of this here, maybe later today or tomorrow and I'll have that posted up. And uh, this works well for ca uh, carp, better for carp. But I have caught a few catfish on this. And like I said, I'll have a recipe up on uh, my channel here in the next couple days. So uh, subscribe. And I'll uh, keep posting up some uh, hints and tips that have worked for me. Thanks for looking.